the Jimmy Butler fight. You can see that on my Instagram. Uh, at least some pictures from it, or one picture from it. And also for the Brooklyn Nets, Ed Davis is going to be listed as day to day. He may or may not play in this one. You got to like Philadelphia. They're going to be favored by eight and a half points in this one. And ESPN's basketball power index is going to give them a 76 percent chance to win the game. Uh, like I said, I love Philadelphia in this one. The Nets have played very, very well, especially Karis LeVert coming back from uh, not looking that great during the, the latter part of the regular season. D'Angelo Russell, not been shooting well, but definitely been the score for the Nets in the playoffs. He's playing well. Um, and, you know, Jared Allen's been playing well, but I think that this is probably just a team that's a little bit too young at this point for their talent level, uh, too inexperienced, and has probably used a good, at least from what it looks like, I mean, they looked tired as hell in game four, used a good, good percentage of their energy. Uh, I'm not sure. I think they might come out flat a little bit tonight. I'm not going to take the eight and a half points, but, or give the eight and a half points, but I do think that uh, the Sixers, they, I'm going to do a money line, parlay that with uh, the Toronto Raptors, the Sixers, and one other game we'll talk about in just a second. All right, to the third game of tonight. 7.30 p.m., second half of the NBA TV doubleheader. After a rare win in San Antonio, the Denver Nuggets are back home for Game 5 hosting the Spurs. Series tied 2-2. Two to two. Denver Nuggets trying to take a 3-2 lead in this one, which looked improbable after both the first game, the lucky second game victory, the third game. Uh, they've really only played one good game in the four. They are tied two games to two, though, so it's uh, seemed to work out, and they still have home court advantage, a best of three situation at this point with the Spurs. Uh, one, both teams have some of the best home court records in the NBA. I think, I guess, that the, that the Denver Nuggets have the advantage here in this one. Both teams are going to be fully healthy, which is awesome. Uh, look at this. Tickets as low as $38 to go see this game. That's a fucking deal, honestly. I wish I was in Denver right now. Actually, will be next week. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Denver's going to be favored by five and a half in this one at home. And ESPN's Basketball Power Index is going to give them a 72% chance to win the game. I like it. I'm not going to... I'm not, I wouldn't bet on that, though. I mean, honestly, this, this series has been so inconsistent. I would not have believed in Game 4 that the Nuggets were going to blow them out by 15 or whatever they did. Um, and I wouldn't have seen Game 1 the way, go the way it goes, or Game 2, realistically. I thought that Denver going into the series had a pretty good... Uh, I thought it was going to be a home, 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 probably home wins every game. Maybe Denver wins one game in San Antonio. Either way... Um, <clears throat> Not a bad little spread there, a little bit closer than the other games. I'm staying away from it, but you got to think Denver has, um, you know, the best shot at winning the game. All right, to the last game of tonight. This is going to be the best one. 8.30 p.m. TNT, second half of the doubleheader here. Um, Dame Lillard and the Portland Trail Blazers are going to be hosting Russell Westbrook. Paul George and the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is going to be Game 5 in Portland. Portland is already up three games to one. They did steal Game 4 in Oklahoma City a couple of days ago. Both teams fully healthy in this one, if that's what you, you know, that, that's what you would say about Paul George. I mean, obviously he's been injured, but he's not listed on the injury report here. Um, <clears throat> and it's a tough one. Portland, one of the best home teams in the league. Uh, Oklahoma City swept the series season series against Portland, four games to zero, but they're down three to one here. Damian Lillard has completely dominated Russell Westbrook, uh, three of the four games. Westbrook had a better game three, and he's going to have to go off. I mean, quite literally, Russell Westbrook is going to have to go off uh, in order to win, maybe not this game, but in order to win the series, he's going to have to play huge for the last three games, and even to win this game, he's going to have to play pretty damn big, along with Paul George. Um, Portland just seems to really be clicking right now, really playing well. They're going to be favored by four at home, which is not much, is not much. Uh, and ESPN's BPI is going to give them a 67% chance to win the game. You could probably do your math here. 
understand where I'm going with this. I'm taking the money line Portland Trailblazers. I've already made a little bit of money off of them with a minus one spread, I think in game two it was, at home. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take them a parlay. I'm going to parlay the uh, Trailblazers at home money line, the Sixers at home money line, and the Toronto Raptors at home money line. I think all three teams get it done tonight and move on to the second round. Uh, the Spurs Nuggets series is just a little bit too difficult for me to call, but I do think that there's some money to be made here in this one. Once again, I said that's 8.30 on TNT. It's going to be a hell of a fucking game. Portland favor by four. Sweet. It's a short show today. Once again, sorry about yesterday. Go check out the last episode. It was longer. It was like an hour long or something like that. Maybe not that long, but it was pretty long. Uh, a pretty good episode there. Yesterday, unfortunately, I'm not exactly sure. I have the shittiest computer in the world, so it kind of didn't, uh, I don't know, it didn't process it. I, I, I had to just kind of fiddle with it a little bit and fucking ended up working out there. Uh, but yeah, go check out the last episode. I'm going to be doing an NFL draft episode. I was hoping today, but it looks like it might be tomorrow or something like that. And of course, we got the MLB uh, week four recap coming up here in, I think, a day or two also. As I said at the beginning of the show, everybody go subscribe, rate, review the podcast, anywhere podcasts can be found. You can also find the show page on Facebook at Intelligent Thoughts, on Twitter at Intelligent Foe One, Intelligent T-H-O, and the number one, and on Instagram at Intelligent Deep Thoughts. That's the word B-D-E in between Intelligent Thoughts there on Instagram. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed the show. Thank you for listening. Let me get you some music. I love you.